So as far as street lights go, here in Disneyland, I think this is the worst example so far. You know in Planet Coaster, when you take one of those four meter long log pieces, and then you just slap a lantern on it, that's what this feels like. There's not a lot of creativity involved in the design of the lamp post, nor the lamp. I'm not entirely sure how it fits into this general area, you know, it doesn't match the railing fences, it doesn't match any of the buildings around here, you don't see the light coming back very often around here. Um, so in terms of, you know, theme park design, I think this is one of the examples of Disneyland that I would not try to follow in your own designs. Let's move on to next. Number 9 and 8 were lost due to technical difficulties. Silverat got tired, also Corona, and could not record these lights anymore. Please like this video to support Silverat. One like equals one prayer. So this right here is a lamp that's typical for Adventureland and I think whenever you're playing Planet Coast or anything similar these are the kind of lanterns that you can really try to build yourself as well. Uh, put some logs together, uh, get some, root, some rope pieces to make it look as if they were roped together in some way. It all looks a little bit janky uh, but then again that's part of the realism and the charm of an area like this. So personally one of my favorite lampposts, very easy to do in games like Planet Coaster, but really fun and as you can see in real life as well it just kind of works, it fits the theme very well and you can put them almost anywhere you want. Put them next to buildings, put them on paths or even bridges like one that we're on right now. So definitely one of the best lamps out here. So here's another variety of lantern that you can find in Frontierland. And as you can see, uh, as opposed to some lamps, this one uses nails. Well, not really, but you know, that's part of the theme that it's nailed together. Um, so it kind of has a little bit of an industrial look and it's just a really nice simple lamp that you can put in any kind of adventure themed area. So, you know, as much as it is not a very typical or, or a very special thing, I think it's a, it's a really cool nice lamp that's very versatile and you can use in many different areas. So at number 5 I have this lamp that you can find in Adventureland. Now this is one of those examples where you can really tell what themed area you're in uh, thanks to of course the design of the lamp. This fits nowhere except an Arabic area which is one of those cool touches that I think they add over here where you can, you know, even looking at the furniture, the street furniture, looking at the fences, the foliage around you, everything fits to a very specific theme and this is one of those examples of that and I think I mean, the thing just looks good as well. I, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It has nice color, nice details on it. The longer you look at it, the more you start noticing things. Even when you don't notice them right away when you're walking in the past, it just adds a little touch to this area. So, it's pretty good. Silverit forgot to record number four. Please have this picture of a capybara instead. So this is one of my favorite examples of how you can use different color schemes to bring an interesting flavor into your park, even when you're just using the same item over and over again. So this lamp, for instance, uh, you can see it here, they use different color schemes throughout this area, even though they are using the same lamp everywhere, which creates a thematic unity, but at the same time there's some diversity in the theming as well. So for that reason, one of my favorite examples of a very simple way of using lighting uh, to create different feelings in different areas of your park. As in any top 10, there's only one lamp that can win. And in this case, I think this is the best example of lamp architecture and, well, theme park design in Disneyland Paris. For me, it's ultimately the fact that it's so recognizable. You look at this lamp and you can tell that it's here in Discovery Land. This is not quite my favorite area of the park, I think. I slightly prefer Adventureland, but it is the most unique, I think, and it is the most recognizable. And this lamp fits perfectly into that theme. It's, of course, uh, kind of, you know, it kind of looks like lamps in the past. It really has the look of an antique uh, gaslit lamp. But at the same time, you can tell that it's some kind of futuristic version. It's really a futuristic version of the past. And you can take a picture of this lamp, show it to anybody who even remotely knows what Discovery Land is. And they'll recognize where this lamp is, uh, what the surrounding area looks like. It fits right into the buildings. Space Mountain over there, uh, Autopia over there. It, it fits right into the scenery with the same color use and the same detail. So ultimately, this I think would be my number one and best example of lanterns here in Disneyland Paris.